Welcome back. Fox News political analyst Gianno Caldwell is calling out uh, a Miami, Florida restaurant after being asked to leave the restaurant because of his conservative views. The restaurant is Paradise Books and Bread. Writing on Instagram, their behavior and their words made other folks in the space, as well as us, working very uncomfortable. We told them that our views don't align and that the language they were using was unwelcome in our space. Joining us right now is the man himself, Fox News political analyst, host of Out Loud with Jono Caldwell, podcast and author of Taken for Granted. Jono is here. Great to see you, Jono. Thanks very much for being here. Tell Thank me you. what happened. Thank you for having what me. What happened? Well, for... Well, I, I got to tell you, Maria, I never thought I would make international news for being a Florida man kicked out of a restaurant <laughs> over my conservative values, but that's exactly what what happened. But uh, what, what happened is some friends of mine, some people that I'm just getting to know that live in my building, invited me off to this, this uh, uh, Paradise Books and Breads. Never been there, never heard of it. I go in, they're immediately asking me questions. How do you like working over at Fox News? Are you a conservative? And I say, yes, I am. Actually, I have a book out called Taken for Granted, How Conservatism Can Win Back the America's Liberalism Have Failed. Get the book. And we talked about my brother, he, uh, how he was murdered in Chicago last year in June uh, last month or yesterday, made seven months since he's been murdered. And a number of other issues, like uh, my pro-life stance, about progressive DAs who are exacerbating the crime issue. And the owner comes over to the table and says, I've been listening to your conversation. You are not welcome here. And I said, oh, wow, did I say something that triggered you? She said, no, we are not politically aligned. I don't feel comfortable. You have to leave. I own this place. Wow. So I stood up, walked off from the table, shell shocked, completely shell shocked, because I've never had that experience before. And I went online and, and tweeted immediately after, and it got 2.5 million views and went viral. So I am disturbed what I'm seeing from folks, and I think this is a microcosm of what we're seeing across the country. Well, it is. Uh, how, folks, how many people were some. you in the group? I mean, were you talking loudly? I mean, it, it was a total. Of, it was a total. It was a. It was a total of five of us, including a woman. So, um, you know, they've made things like, oh, yeah, we didn't like what, what they said about women and something about uh, 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 eugenics or something like that. And I'm telling them I'm pro-life. Like, what is it that made you feel uncomfortable? I imagine it did, because for some on the left, intolerance has become the norm, not the exception. So they want you to capitulate to all of their views, no matter what it is. But if you say, I believe in God, and I talked about my faith in God while I was there as well, if you say that I'm pro-life, then it's a problem. There's a target on your back. And let alone, don't let you be black in saying these things. You got to go. Because you are now uh, someone who's an enemy to your race. And that's how a lot of these liberal left-leaning yeah. people think. It is extraordinarily reprehensible. And I am thankful that since this has all taken place, that they've shut their doors down at least into next month. But I think there should be a, a real investigation into this, because this shouldn't happen to anyone. And I imagine if I didn't have the platform that I have, if I didn't work at Fox News, no one would know about it, no one would care, and they would get away with this. So I imagine how, how many other restaurants across the country are doing this exact thing. Kaylee, what do you think? Gianno, yeah, Kaylee McGee White with the Washington Examiner. I, you know, I think it's so important what you mentioned that this is simply a microcosm of a growing trend. You think about a few months ago when a religious group was denied access to a Virginia restaurant simply because it's a Christian organization. And, and would you say that what you experienced was was outright bigotry in this case? I, I think it was. I, I just find it hard to imagine that if I. If I was white and I was saying these things, that they would be so alarmed and put me out. Um, I, I just can't imagine that. As soon as I started talking about conservatism, the lady who apparently was the owner, because I'm always looking around in my surroundings, I'm always watching my surroundings because I work for Fox and, you know, I'm a well-known person. So I'm always watching in case somebody may be recording me or somebody might be on an attack. And she continued to give me very nasty looks from the moment that I mentioned conservatism. Wow. That's not okay. That is not okay. Todd? Yeah. Is there any more group loathed by the far left than a black conservative? No. And I think Senator Tim Scott said it perfectly. He said that for liberals, a uh, uh, black conservative is public enemy number one. You got to keep in mind, without African Americans, Democrats wouldn't be able to win a Democrat primary for president. 
That's been the case since the 1980s when Jesse Jackson ran for political office. So they need to keep black folks in the fold. They need to continue to say, if you choose to be conservative or support a Republican of any kind, then you are an enemy to your race. And this is so ingrained in the African-American community. When I grew up, from my family to my teachers to the people in the community, they all believed one thing about Republicans, which is that they were a racist group of people who didn't care about black people or poor people. Those things are not true. They're asinine. But that is the belief system that continues to this day. And that is how they keep a hold and a lock on black folks voting for Democrats at high rates. It's not OK. What a terrible story, James. Yeah. and. Uh... Well, just it's so disappointing, especially yeah. when we think of the free state of Florida as uh, maybe being a place you can uh, escape this kind of garbage. That's but, right. Uh, I'm wondering about your uh, your neighbors. So, are they uh, like-minded or people who disagree with you? And are they uh, are they tolerating your views or or not so well, much? We're having a, a discussion. Yeah. Well, in, interest, interestingly enough, um, my neighbors were people who I was trying to meet up with for a while. These are very successful people, but they never, in the entire conversation, mentioned anything about their politics. They were just being intellectually curious. Right. They're like, okay, we got this guy here. He's on TV. He works for Fox News. They were just asking me questions. There was no debate. Yeah. They weren't challenging my views. They just listened. And to this day, I don't even know what their politics is today. Yeah. Can't, you can't even yeah. have a discussion anymore. Jono, we're glad you're safe. Thanks very much for walking us through it.